Hello my friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So this is part two of my favorite keto meals. It's gonna be five more of my favorite keto meals. If you didn't check out my first video, make sure to check that out, part one. I have lost over 160 pounds from my highest weight and it is my mission to help you guys be successful as well. So I wanted to put these videos together to show you uh, some of my favorite keto meals. I film a lot of what I eat in a day videos and sometimes I'm trying a recipe for the first time. So I wanted to create these videos to show you uh, what my favorite meals are so that you guys can make them too. So let's get into the video right now. guys, if this is the first time you're clicking on one of my videos, hello, I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, and allow me to be a part of your journey. I have lost over 160 pounds from my highest weight of 374, and I've been on this journey uh, for almost three years. August 7th will be three years to be able to conquer my food addiction, develop a good healthy relationship with food, and lose the rest of my weight and reach my ultimate goal. But more than anything really figure out my head <laughs> really figure out my mind and the mental piece of this journey because that truly is the most important part fixing my identity fixing my insecurities removing them removing my insecurities and really figuring myself out i'm a very real person i share absolutely everything i do results videos every week what i eat in a day videos and also these types of videos my favorite keto meals so if that interests you make sure to subscribe to my channel also i have a support group on facebook the shrinkables so so come join us over there. Follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, all of that is down below. I also have an Etsy shop if you guys wanna check that out. I'm trying to raise money for my skin removal surgery that I'm going to be getting in the future. Cause guys, I lost over 160 pounds. I got some excess skin. So I plan on getting skin removal, but obviously it's very expensive. And so I'm trying to raise money for that, which is gonna be such an exciting chapter of my life, of my journey. So I'll put that link down below. This shirt is actually one that I did design. So yeah, your support would absolutely mean everything to me. Okay guys, let's get into the video. Five more of my favorite keto meals. Let's go. So right now I am going to get the ingredients together and I'm gonna show you what we need for the keto beef stew. All right, so this is what we're gonna need for the beef stew. Some oil, which I am just using uh, olive oil. I am dirty keto, so my ingredients aren't super clean. So use whatever you usually use. If you're more a uh, clean keto person, then uh, get your own clean ingredients. We're not rolling in the dough over here, so <laughs> we're just making it work. So two tablespoons of oil, uh, two and a half pounds of stew meat. It also calls for uh, one teaspoon of salt, uh, but I'm leaving the salt out because the beef broth I have is not reduced sodium so I don't want it to be too salty um, also some uh, black pepper we're gonna need one small onion and I have a white onion because it's lower in carbs but I'm just gonna use probably half of this because I'm gonna do a pot roast at some point too and I'm gonna use the other half for that so just I'm just gonna use half of this white onion for uh, for this for the beef stew um, it also calls for two cloves of garlic. I do not have that, but I'm just gonna throw in some uh, minced garlic, call it good. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two tablespoons of uh, tomato paste, two and a half cups of the beef broth, one tablespoon of soy sauce or liquid aminos. I'm gonna be using Worcestershire sauce and I'm just gonna be doing a couple teaspoons of that because it's lower in sodium. Sodium is a killer for me. I have to be very careful and soy sauce is just loaded with sodium. Um, so we're just gonna go with that today. Um, also, uh, one pound of radishes. Uh, this is an amazing potato replacement uh, for us keto low carb people. If you haven't tried radishes as a potato replacement, you definitely need to. I just made a video of what I eat in a day video I believe it was my last one um, and I made that pot roast using radishes as a potato replacement and they're just amazing gotta do it gotta do it because when we cook them just loses the taste of the radish and it softens up kind of like a potato or like a really soft veggie and it tastes like whatever uh, the flavoring you're cooking it with so definitely do that I'm also gonna um, throw in some 
Uh, regular potatoes for my family. I won't be eating those. Also some carrots we're gonna need. I don't have any celery on hand. I don't like mushrooms, so I won't be putting those in there. And I don't have any of the frozen peas. And the frozen peas, they do have carbs in them too. So if you're watching your carbs, uh, then you might wanna stay away from those as well. Also, you're gonna need uh, two teaspoons of glucomannan, and that is going to thicken up the uh, beef stew. So those are the ingredients that we're going to need. I'm going to go ahead and cut my veggies and get this in the crock pot. Every time. So I never filmed last night how dinner was uh, because it was just crazy loud here. So I just figured I'd do it the next day. Uh, but the beef stew came out really good. I decided not to thicken it. My kids aren't thrilled about gravy. So I just decided to just leave it kind of like a beef stew with broth type, uh, but it tasted really good. The only thing that I would recommend differently than what the recipe said, uh, I would season the veggies because it didn't 
call for seasoning on the veggies, but I like my veggies to have flavor, you know, like salty yumminess. So I probably would have uh, flavored it with maybe some salt, uh, pepper, Italian seasoning, uh, but really, really good. And the radishes tasted great. They were a great potato replacement for me. Uh, so yeah, that was dinner. And then that was the end of my day. All right, guys, I am getting the chili ready and I went ahead and uh, cooked the bacon ahead of time. I actually usually cook a full pound of bacon. The recipe only calls for half a pound, uh, but I just go ahead and cook the full pound and my kids end up eating some slices and they actually ate a lot today. So <laughs> I was probably left with about half a pound anyway, but um, let's go over the ingredients that you're gonna need for this chili. So you're gonna need two pounds of ground beef, one pound of sausage, a half a pound of bacon, two 28 ounce cans of diced tomatoes with the juice, one six ounce can tomato paste, one large yellow onion. I use uh, white onion because it is lower in carb, uh, one red bell pepper, two cups of beef stock, and then all of your spices, minced garlic, oregano, cumin, paprika, basil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, black pepper, and uh, cayenne pepper is optional. Um, I would love to use the cayenne pepper. I would love to put it in there because I do like my, my chili spicy, but my kids don't. So I do uh, leave that out. So those are the ingredients that you're gonna need. So after you cook your bacon, don't get rid of the bacon grease because you're actually gonna cook the onion and the red bell pepper uh, in that bacon grease. And that's what gives it like really good flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this together and get our chili on the burner. <laughs> so my day is done the chili came out super yummy uh the longer you simmer it for the more flavor it has so simmer it for longer than two hours if you want some more flavor but it just always comes out so good and with the bacon and then you know the uh pepper and the onions cooked in the bacon grease it's just mm -hmm, super yummy so i will put the link uh for the recipe down below in the description if you guys want to try it out but i definitely recommend it All right guys, so for my first meal, it is 12.30 now. I feel like pizza today, so I am gonna be making a low-carb pizza. Um, I actually, I have like different versions of pizza that I like to make. Uh, one of them is the egg white pizza, uh, which is egg whites for the crust, which is good. It's kind of like a breakfast pizza. Today, I'm just gonna be using cheese as the crust. There's so many different ways that you can make pizza. If pizza is like one of your favorite foods and you have a hard time staying away from it, 
that is what I love about keto is because I never feel deprived of the foods that I love and pizza is my favorite food and there are so many different ways to eat keto pizza um, you can use almond flour as the crust you can use chicken as the crust uh, you can use egg whites as the crust you know there I'm probably missing like a whole bunch um, I make uh, keto chaffle pizza so there's just so many different ways but today I'm just keeping it very basic and just using cheese sometimes it's a little messy when I try to cook it um, but it still it tastes so good so that's what we're gonna be making right now so Let's make it. All right guys, so I'm heating this up on uh, medium heat and I'm just gonna spray it with some oil. I have avocado oil spray. And then for the crust, I'm gonna be using uh, some mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese. So I'm actually gonna mix it together. I'm gonna do both cheddar and mozzarella. So I'm gonna put the cheddar on first. I'm gonna just kind of fill it, fill the bottom of the pan with the cheddar. And then just a little bit of mozzarella because we're gonna put more mozzarella cheese on after that. All right, let that cook for a little bit. Flipping it is kind of hard, it's the hard part. But when it seems solid enough to flip, then that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna flip it, because we don't wanna burn it. All right. There we go, and then I'm just gonna put some pizza sauce on. And then I cook uh, some pepperoni slices in the microwave for about a minute to crisp them up because I like crispy pepperoni. Okay, and we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese. It's a very cheesy lunch, so if you're sensitive to cheese, you probably don't wanna make it. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a cover on. This one's too big, but that's fine. I'm just gonna melt the cheese a little bit. All right, I'm gonna turn that off. And then I am going to put my pepperoni slices on, which are crispy. You can actually, ouch, that's hot. <laughs> you can actually take this out now if I can grab it. Probably smart to do that. sauce coming off there that is okay I'm gonna finish putting the pepperoni slices on I could totally eat more than that but that's fine all right we're gonna let it cool but that is what I am having for lunch cheesy pizza cheesy pepperoni pizza Alright guys, so I am getting ready to cook dinner. It's five o'clock now. Keto chicken alfredo casserole, which is so yummy. And uh, yeah, let's go over the ingredients that you're gonna need. All right, you're gonna need 14 ounces of cauliflower. You're gonna cut them into bite-sized pieces. 32 ounces of chicken breast. For your spices, you're gonna need onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. You're gonna need some olive oil, uh, one tablespoon of that. Two cups of the keto Alfredo sauce. We'll be making that in a minute. Oh my gosh, guys, this Alfredo sauce is so freaking yummy. And also uh, some mozzarella cheese. So let's go ahead and and start making the casserole.
guys, so dinner was so super yummy as always. I love this casserole. I highly recommend it if you like chicken Alfredo and if you like cauliflower. It's just such a super yummy, simple meal. So the recipe link is below if you guys want to try out uh, this casserole. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this channel. Today we're learning about what are we gonna eat today? Yes, we are. It's 1.30 and the twins are napping, so now it is time to cook. Hey, that's what I was gonna say. The twins were napping. Okay, say it. The twins are napping. The twins are napping. Their so, names are Jack and Riley. Jack and Riley, yep, they're napping. So we are, what are we making? Broccoli salad. <laughs> We're gonna make broccoli quiche. This is oh, one of my favorite keto dishes. Back in the day when I was doing Atkins, which is, you know, the low carb lifestyle, but more focused on carbs and keto is more focused on carbs and fat. I used to go to Linda's low carb recipes and I used to make all of her recipes and the broccoli quiche is one of them and I've made it so many times and it's just super yummy and yeah. So that is what I'm making today for lunch and I'm gonna film it for you and I got my little helper here and uh, yeah, we're gonna see how that goes. So first, we're gonna show you what you need for ingredients. So you're gonna need how many eggs? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, we're gonna need six eggs. We're gonna need about two ounces of chopped onion, eight ounces of cheddar cheese, which is a lot of cheese, but I think that's why it tastes so good. It's just got so much flavor. And You're also going to need one cup of heavy whipping cream, some salt and pepper, and of course, some cooked broccoli. My new strainer is actually dirty, so I'm using my old one, so yeah, don't judge. And um, yeah, so, and that's 10 ounces of uh, cooked broccoli and drained. Now we are going to make it. With eggs. So the first thing we're gonna do is spray the glass plate with uh, cooking spray. I have avocado oil spray. And we're gonna put the broccoli, the cheese, and the onion at the bottom of the plate. So here you go, pour this in there. In here? Yep. Like that. You have to do it like that, and then the onion. And the onion. Make sure to get all of it. Scrape with your fingers. Scrape, scrape, and scrape, scrape, and scrape, scrape, and we and made, scrape, scrape. And we made sure to wash our hands. Okay, that's good. All right, and all the cheese. All the cheese. Careful. We're great. Right. And now we're just going to, I kind of just mix it all around. You can use a spoon, uh, but we're just going to use our hands. All right, now we're going to beat the eggs and then whisk in the cream and the salt and the pepper. 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 No, it's pepper. Oh, pepper. Okay. We're just gonna, we might just whisk everything. All right, you wanna do the eggs? Yes. Give it a good crack. There you go. So that you can, oh, okay. I'm gonna be careful of shells. Put it right on the counter, that's fine. There you go, that was a good one. Give it a good crack so you can get your fingers in there, yep. Right over the bowl. All right. Grease it. Over the bowl. Make sure to get all the egg whites. There you go. All right, now you are going to- Mix it. Well, we're supposed to beat it, but Let's let's whisk it. So we're gonna put one cup of heavy cream. This is the part you pour out of, yeah, like that. Why? Because that's how you don't make a mess. 
All right, and then we're just gonna put some salt and pepper. One teaspoon of salt, so let me use a teaspoon. So pour that right in there. And then we're just gonna do dash pepper. Okay, now I mix. So mixers. Oh, where, where's the salt and pepper? It's in there. After we're done with that bowl, we're gonna pour it in there. Yep. Now we're gonna pour the egg mix into the quiche. It's that simple. That's quiche? Well, it's gonna be the quiche plate. I'm gonna kinda guide you, okay? Because it has to be even. I'm gonna do this, okay? Okay. You wanna spread it evenly so that the mix is everywhere on the pie plate so it's nice and even. So you bake at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna check it after 35 um, and every oven is different. So just start checking it at 35 minutes. But it's done when a knife comes out clean. So yeah, common sense, right? All right, we're gonna go bake and uh, I'll meet you back here when it's done. Mm. All right guys, so I just took it out of the oven. It took 40 minutes for um, this one to bake, for the knife to come out clean. And I wish that you could smell it right now because oh, this smells so good. And it's 2.40, so I'm hungry because all I've had is two pieces of deli ham and half of an egg. <laughs> so yeah, I'm hungry, ready to eat. Gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna cut a slice. Mm, so good. Right, guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to join my support group and i will see you at the next video stay safe and choose health bye guys all right guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and join all right guys that is it i hope you enjoyed this video Bill, <laughs> what kind of accent is that? Oh my word.